So you have used a lot of PHP frameworks and their routers, but have you ever wondered how they work underlying? So today I'm going to show you the simplest possible way uh, to demonstrate how the routers work underlying. And uh, to do that, I have created two files here. One is called router.php. There is no code at all. And one is called index.php. And what I've done in index.php just required that router file. Okay, so uh, in this example, we're going to use PHP's built-in web server, but I will uh, post the htaccess and uh, sorry, nginx config file uh, codes in the video description if you want to work with Apache or nginx. Okay, so let's start building our router. Okay, so we'll need two, fun two main functions in this file. One is route which will accept an action and a callback. When the, the router will determine if it matches that action then it will call that provided callback. And the other one is function dispatch and it will only accept the action. Okay, so what we are going to do in this file is we will create a global uh, routes function for routes array. And every time a user registers the route, uh, a route, a route, we will push that in this array. So we will first get it in our scope. Okay, and you don't need to return anything from this function. What another thing that we can do here is uh, we will trim the action because that's an string, and that uh, I will tell you why we trimmed it here. We will remove any slashes, trailing or uh, landing slashes from that string okay Th that's all that's all we need to do in this function okay and the other function is our dispatch function we'll do the same to remove any slashes from that string okay and then we will get the callback from our routes array so we'll need to get it in scope first okay now we need to call that callback to execute whatever the user have has provided us for this action so to you to do that we'll use a php built-in function call user func and provide that callback to this function and we'll echo the results or we can just return it whatever you want so that's it that's all we the router looks like this is all okay it wasn't that hard so now how can we use that uh, router okay so in index.php we'll get the request URI from the server dot underscore server global array URI and we'll simply dispatch our router using this using the current URI. Okay now we can you uh, we can register our routes 
like this. We'll say on slash we want hello world and the other route will be our about and that will return thanks for reading about me okay okay so i'll tell you why i did this i added this line here because this will give us uh, will give us the flexibility of adding extra slashes here this is uh, completely your preference if you want to add slashes in your route action names or you want to avoid it okay i want i want to keep that because it looks like a url so it uh, it feels like a url okay now let's start our server php minus s colon 8000 now let's visit our home page okay we got our home page here uh, you can see that and we can also visit the about page thanks for reading about me that's all it's it's really simple i'll post the code uh, on github and will add the link in the, in the description if you need to uh, visit that code again thanks thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe thank you